In the rivers of the west coast of North America lives one of the world's most interesting migrants. Braving difficulties of every sort, the salmon traverses rivers and seas. The life of a salmon begins when its mother lays her eggs in a stream. The first food of the young salmon is the special nutrient sac in the egg. A few weeks later, they are big enough to find food for themselves in the stream. As they continue to grow, they spend about a year in the stream. Salmon have been created with a system that allows them to live both in fresh and salt water. The reason for this is hidden in the miraculous journey that the salmon will make. On a spring morning, thousands of salmon begin to migrate down the river. The place where they will arrive weeks later is the magnificent Pacific Ocean. As soon as they arrive at the ocean, a genetic mechanism in the salmon causes a change in the makeup of their bodies, enabling them to live in salt water. In the next one to four years, they will traverse the ocean. Leaving the American coast, they will pass by Alaska, continue in a great arc in the direction of Japan, and return again. At the end of their journey, they are mature and ready for the final and most difficult journey of their lives. They will return to their home, that is, to the stream where they were born. Now they begin to travel upstream in exactly the opposite direction to the one they traveled years earlier to reach the sea. No obstacle daunts them. They can jump high enough to scale waterfalls. They can even jump three meters out of the water to climb over obstacles in their way. Sometimes they doggedly pursue their journey for distances reaching 3,200 kilometers. In the course of this journey, they eat nothing, using energy stored while they were in the ocean. Finally, those who survive, without fail, reach the river where they were born years earlier, and there lay their eggs. They have done their duty, and a short time later, they die. This journey of the salmon is one of the most amazing phenomena in nature. How is it that after thousands of salmon live for years in the sea, they can find the very stream in which they were born? In order to achieve this, they must find their own stream from among the thousands that flow into the Pacific Ocean. Then they must swim up this stream without becoming lost. Despite the fact that the stream separates into several branches in its course, the salmon must make the right decision at each fork in the stream and continue in the right direction. The salmon succeed in this seemingly impossible venture 
How do they succeed and why? First, let's consider the answer to the question, why? Research has shown that salmon have been created with a special sensory system to enable them to make this journey. They have been created with a natural compass that lets them find their way in the ocean by sensing the Earth's magnetic field. Thanks to this, they are able to find their direction in the vast ocean without error. But the basic question is this, how do salmon find the very streams in which they were born? For this, something else, a different system, apart from its natural compass, is required. Research has shown that salmon are created with a very delicate sense of smell and that they can find the stream in which they were born by following its smell. We would not guess that a stream has its own smell, but it is true. Every stream in the world has its own chemical composition. Most frequently, the differences between the different chemical compositions are almost too small to be detected by any creature. Except the salmon. One of the most interesting occurrences which demonstrated the salmon's ability to find its direction happened in the Prairie Creek Fish Farm in Northern California. A discovery made at this farm revealed an incredible adventure of migration. On the 2nd of December, 1964, in one of the breeding pools, a two-year-old salmon was found swimming with the other young salmon. On the back fin of the salmon, were the remains of a special metal tag belonging to the Prairie Creek fish farm. This showed that this salmon was one of those that had been grown two years earlier in this farm and later released into the ocean. But how could this salmon have returned from the ocean and got into the farm's covered pool? There is a clue to how this could have happened. There was a box covered with a metal grill that opened into the overflow channel of one of the pools. The cover was broken. Could the salmon have entered this channel in its attempt to get back to the place of its birth, broken the cover, and entered the pool? There is no other explanation for the occurrence. But it seems impossible when you consider the distance the salmon had to go from the ocean to this pool. In order for the salmon to get back to the farm where it was born, it had to begin its journey from this point, that is, from the point where the Redwood Creek flowed into the ocean. Later, the salmon would swim five kilometers against the current and come to the first fork in the river. At this fork, it would make the right decision and go to the north, but further on, there would be an even more difficult branching. Here, the salmon would receive two very similar signals. The farm where the salmon was born was located right in the middle of this branch. The first choice for the salmon would have been to go to the right because the water flowing from it came from that direction. But for some reason, it chose to go to the left and began to approach the farm from behind. The reason for this surprising decision was to be found under the highway that passed through the area. 